A lot of people may not know like what a heart attack or stroke is and what causes a heart attack and stroke. So when we think about a heart attack, what that means is that for a variety of reasons, it just is a description where we've lost blood flow to the heart muscle. The heart has to have a large amount of blood going to it, has to have oxygen, nutrients, etc. And if that's suddenly turned off, then that will cause damage to the heart muscle, which can cause symptoms. So the blood is actually the carrier brings the oxygen and all the yep. stuff that the heart then- And takes off all the bad stuff. I like to think of it as the clean water coming in, but we also have a sewer system, right? So it dumps all the waste and all the nasty stuff we don't want hanging around. So yeah, because it's a muscle. It's a, it's exactly. like a pump. It's sitting there pumping Just and pump. it's circulating the blood. But at the same time, it's kind of a two thing, right? You've got this muscle that's pumping the blood that has all this, it's rich in oxygen and all the things that your muscles and body need. So it serves that purpose to circulate all the the blood to the, all of the organs and, and so on. But at the same time, it needs the same blood it's pumping Precisely. for itself to right. survive, right? right? And so you're saying when when that blood supply to the heart muscle itself is cut off, that's a heart attack? That is a heart attack. Then what's a stroke? Well, a stroke, same concept, right? Blood flow, nutrients, oxygen, taking away all the waste, etc. But that is a vessel going to the brain. So just to make this concept easier, that we should talk about heart attacks mm -hmm. and brain attacks, because basically it's the same thing. We're just talking about the blood flow to a given organ in the heart. If it's compromised, reduced, that's a heart attack. Blood flow to the brain, if it's compromised, produces brain damage, and that's a stroke.